I'm Valerie Lewis Coleman, author, publisher, and promoter. I've helped thousands of authors navigate through the maze of self-publishing, and this Pen of the Writer video series will help you too. If you apply the principles outlined in these videos, you'll be well on your way to publishing a quality book at an affordable price. This video will look at the two main factors in pricing your book, production cost and competitive analysis. We'll start with the latter. With the explosion of self-publishing, readers have many options when it comes to choosing books. If your book is overpriced, you will have a tough time selling it to folks other than your friends and family. And if your book is way overpriced, even your mother may throw her brow as she digs into her purse to support her child. As an author, you are a business person. A good business person knows what the competition is doing. Realizing that most self-published authors do not have the resources to conduct an extensive competitive analysis, I developed an inexpensive yet effective solution. The mega chain bookstores have invested a considerable amount of money and manpower into assessing customer preference. So visit a couple of the nationwide bookstores, preferably ones with a cafe, go to the section with books that are of the same genre as yours, pull titles that have a similar page count as your manuscript. Now to do that you'll have to have an idea of how many pages your book will contain in final book trim and in the video session, Talking Printer Talk, we'll talk more about the standard book trim size. Take the book to the cafe area, get yourself a cup of java, and start the analysis. Compare your cover designs, compare the retail prices, the content, the editor, the publisher. Look at the things you like and don't like. Pull those things that you like and consider them for use in your book. Those things you don't like, don't consider them for your book. For the cost of a cup of java, you will have gained a lot of information about how to price your book. Now let's look at a pricing model. The book industry is a lot like the automotive industry in that the consumer sets the price. When GM owns 65% of the market share, they can sell their vehicles for whatever they wanted to sell them for. So say for example it cost them $15,000 to manufacture a car, they wanted a $10,000 profit, they charged the consumer $25,000. It wasn't much that the consumer could do because there weren't a lot of options. Now with the advent of more competition in the automotive industry, the price model has shifted. Now price minus cost is what the profit is. So if a consumer has $20,000 and all they want to spend is $20,000, they can go to another manufacturer. Say the cost is still $15,000, the profit then for that company is only going to be $5,000. What does that mean in the book business? Good question. Now let's look at what it takes to price your book. When it comes to pricing your book, it takes a competitive analysis and you also need to know what cost you have involved in the book production process. So if you want to learn more about how to price your book, visit us at penoftherider.com. Click on the conference tab, go to the training videos, and find out more about Talking Printer Talk, Mastering Self-Publishing to Make Money, and Copyrights. Until next time, live, love, and prosper. I'm Val. Peace.